We got our leftover blue cheese olives from frying them this morning. And so we had to make dirty martinis and it was a must. A must. It was. You don't drink dirty martinis often. No, I rarely drink dirty martinis. Cheers. I love them though. Yeah. Cheers. And it's like, you know, cheese. Right. Give me the cheese. Um, mm. delicious. <laughs> Too hard. Yeah, no, that was delicious. I really think this company is killing it. Right? Hey everybody, as you can see, we're back in our taste testing room. It's been a minute since we've done a taste test. It's been a little while. Um, but we're back today and I am really excited about this one. I love the brand that we're featuring. Um, it's called Feel Good Foods, and they make a huge variety of like gluten-free, snacky, yummy, carby foods. Okay. It's all frozen, okay. but they make a range from potstickers all the way to pierogies and empanadas. So they have nothing fresh though? Nothing fresh, it's all frozen food, but everything I've had from them has been really delicious, and mm. so I'm really excited to try an array of everything they offer and just kind of introduce you to the brand and try new things myself. So what are we doing today then? So we are going to be taste testing seven? Seven. Seven different uh, of their frozen food products. Okay. We tried to get a variety of different types. And so we're going to just taste test them and see what we like the best and what we would eat again and just kind of give a review to people of how we like each product that we try. Let's do it. I'm fully expecting to like all of these, but we'll see if we're surprised. Ready? Yeah, yes. let's do it. All right, first item we have here oh, is passion empanadas. chicken empanadas, which we do have a resident Argentinian in the house. So mm. okay, what is guess this, which one it is. I have an <laughs> It's me. <laughs> no. From looks, flaky. Looks kind of like like it's puffed a little. Mmm. Good flavor. Can't kinda, tell it's gluten free. Kind of taco-y flavor. It's a little um a little chewy. A little chewy, maybe but maybe that's just the dough. I kind of like it. I like the chew. The flavor is great. Does this taste like an Argentinian empanada flavor? Like, is this the kind of seasoning? That your dad would use if he made chicken empanadas. It tastes more like it's air fried, as if. Okay. The texture of it. Mm -hmm. My dad just bakes them. Um, what about like the seasoning with the chicken? Do you think that it tastes familiar, like in flavor? Not really, to be honest. I didn't really taste much of <clears throat> the chicken. I didn't really get a piece of chicken. Did you? No, I didn't get a big chunk of chicken. It says. I don't really know. Filled with chicken, red bell pepper, tomato, and cilantro. It definitely has kind of a Mexican flavor to it. I I, I enjoyed liked it. it. I thought it was, it was really tasty. Yeah, and a little crispy too. Yeah, the, I thought the chewiness was yeah. really good. I held together. It exploded a little bit in the oven, but overall, that, that's tasty. A thing. Tasty. I, cool. I liked it. Okay. I'm not sure if it says new recipe because they had a recipe before and they changed it, or if it's just a new product. Right. They've been putting out a lot of new products lately and a couple of the things that we're trying are new products of theirs. Have you, um, you've dabbled with their products before? Yes, yeah, so I've tried their pot stickers and their egg rolls and I love them very much, but I haven't tried anything else. And okay. they offer so many different things, so. I would do that again. That was As really little, tasty. just like bite snacks. Really oh, yummy. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. All right, pot you stickers. got? Pot stickers filled with pork and vegetables and served with tamari, is that, is that tamari? It's a tamari dipping sauce What's that they tamari? serve it. Tamari is gluten-free soy sauce. Oh, right. But I it know, has a little bit of rice vinegar and a little ginger flavor, I guess, in it, based okay. on the ingredients. So, uh, I'm so Go excited. First. Okay. Keep in mind, Naomi hasn't eaten too many gluten-free pot stickers. It's not a common thing, so the fact that they're doing it, if they're doing it well, is Really? Like Holy crap. I think it's amazing. It's delicious. Yeah. The <laughs> This is so it's good. It's crispy and chewy. Yeah. And the filling is really flavorful. The sauce is a really nice salty compliment. I would say, if I was trying to be super critical based on um, regular gluten pot stickers I've had in the past, the wrapper is a little thick. Sure, that's But right. I think to be gluten-free, it needs to be a little thicker to hold up. I mean, I've always loved these. 
This is the first time I've tried the pork one though. I've tried chicken and then they also have vegetable. And I like those. I was gonna but, say, oh, just not, nothing to do with the gluten-free part, but they stuff that mm -hmm. with a bunch of pork and a bunch yeah. of veggies and whatnot. So. Super full and like gave you like a really oh, plump, yeah. full bite. It wasn't airy inside or anything. I I love them so much. But and I think they really, they really held up to the, um, the like technique of crisping and steaming. The top yes. was nice and chewy, the bottom was nice and crispy. And totally. So you didn't flip it at all, you just put it in a pot, yeah. You just put it in, in a pan, yeah, put oil in. Even frozen, just you just put it in frozen, there. oil, water, it tells you how much, put the lid on, turn the heat on, and then it fries and steams at the same time. Takes like 11, wow. 12 minutes, so and then they're good. done. And yeah, really good. I've eaten them so many times. I Do that them. over the microwave. I don't feel like these would be as tasty if cooked yeah. in the microwave. They so. all they just all be soft. 100%. There would be no crispiness. I like the crispiness. Everything we made today, there's a couple, uh, like this one says pan fry or microwave. We cooked all everything by the first suggested way of cooking it. Oh, that's, so, pan that's fry how it works? Or a microwave. No. I don't know if it is. That would but be cool if, the top, if anyone knows if the top one's the most Honestly, suggested. I feel like that makes sense. Very different. They're different things. So different. They're different things. But Both delicious that I would easily, like if I had friends over or whatnot, I would like stuff them into the oven or whatever, maybe right? these ones you can, but this is something I would serve like at a small party for sure. Yeah, I, I agree. Oh, man, I probably want more of that. Because I want to taste more of that filling. Like I enjoyed the filling in this. And then obviously I don't even associate this with, associate this with gluten-free. I think this is delicious. I mean, I don't know. I love them both so much. I'm in the same place as Matan. I feel like I can't like rate one over the other. I think I like these a little more because I really like Asian flavors. So that kind of just swings me this way. However, the flakiness and texture of the crust on this was very, very impressive. Um, so we can put this one behind this one if you'd like and put that one um, I actually you I mean I was up. about to tell you to stop talking I was ready to put this in but that, that. okay let's do that then okay. because I just love these so much I they have a vegetarian no, one a chicken delicious. one they're so good but oh. both like I'd give them both eights like solid eight nines yeah, like I would definitely all right guys up next is bacon and cheddar pierogies so okay. I've heard of them before they're obvious they're usually large but I have never tried these. So you dip Go it? Go ahead, dip it in the sour cream. It suggests sour cream, so we're, we went for it. Mm. That tastes good. These are great. Wow. <laughs> these are, excuse me. <laughs> these are so good. Wait, mm. one more time. Mm. I taste mashed potatoes, is mm -hmm. it not mashed potatoes? Oh. It's potato that has scallion and bacon and cheese. Okay. If it was bigger, I probably would like it a little mm -hmm. more because I don't taste that much of the stuffing. Yes, the outer right. shell is very thick as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. A little tough. I don't yes. know if that had to do with being, you know, it sitting out for a little while. Yeah, they'd probably down. be better, you know, fresh hot. Pierogies are just technically Eastern European dumplings made with unleavened dough. It can be savory or sweet. It looks like one of the most popular ways to fill it is potato. Okay. But they also do like Ground meat, mushrooms, different fruits, sauerkraut. Huh. Um, Mush mushrooms would be so good. Yeah. yeah. So it's, I'm thinking it's about my dad's empanadas, mushrooms, and that. Yeah, right? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I really like the flavor. The potato inside was super creamy, super flavorful. Yeah. Really Delicious. liked how they're like crispy and steamed at the same time, but I do wish they were bigger. Okay, I were bigger. and I was gonna say, but compared to these two? I would put them after them. I would too. I really liked them. Me too. I would definitely eat them again. Right. But they, if they were like the size of the pot sticker, game over. I mean, it's gonna They'd be. They'd be so yummy. It's gonna be really. I know. Tough and the really heart. sucky if they're all this delicious. Just think at the end, the rating. You just tell everyone it's good, but then you th individually can just say your top three sure. things you would eat again. It doesn't have to be in order. I, I would know. eat all so, these. And mm. I have extras and they're stuff so that you want to taste. I might end. have to. Yeah, just because I forgot. Yeah. Yeah, no, that was delicious. I really think this company is killing it. Right? Seriously. I was excited to introduce this company to you because we've had a lot of, we've had a lot of gluten-free food that like tastes inferior to regular gluten food. And this company Definitely. proves that it's so good. Right, you could actually do it. <laughs> it's possible. You ready for the next one? Yeah. Yay. Pepperoni pizza bites. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, freak yeah. This is like, uh, 
Tostinos? Yeah. I have not had a pizza bite. Ever. Ever in my life, I don't think. I Wait, like, I want to My mom never bought like pizza rolls. That was not a thing in our household. Cauliflower crust, I mean. And that's the thing, cauliflower crust. We've gone bad. I mean, yeah. we've gone wrong with that a that's few what I was times thinking. in our reviews. So. That's what I was thinking. I was what actually, are those then? So what's the difference? These are like rice flour based doughs. This is supposed to be a, a pizza crust. So cauliflower, it looks flaky and like not like I wouldn't guess it was yeah, cauliflower. But if you look at the undercarriage, <laughs> no. Okay. Um, it, it does not smell like cauliflower. I was actually really excited about these ones because uh, last time, last time like we hated the cauliflower. Right. I remember that. So I'm curious. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Mm. Kind of empty. A little airy. Yeah, not as much filling but as the puff. No, definitely not. You can, mm -mm. You can, you can yeah. clearly see the root. You can but, go. um, mm. delicious. <laughs> <laughs> this is too hard. It's, I mean, I'd like this more if it was stuffed like the pierogi was, I mean, mm -hmm. pierogi was stuffed, but it was small, right? Everything else was really this generous. This was small, but airy. Mm -hmm. but, and the cauliflower? Mm, I don't taste cauliflower at all. At all. The pizza filling inside, freaking 10 out of 10, delicious. I just wish there was more of it. I don't get it. How does this work? Why do some companies, why can't they do this? Mm -hmm. No, seriously. Nope. I literally say that all the time. I don't get it. Do they do it all differently? Is the cauliflower it's, crust made different? It's like our beer taste test where like ghost fish was just like crushing everyone. It's mm -hmm. like, why can't everyone just get on their page? Yeah, I'm like, if someone does it, why doesn't everyone do it? I really don't understand. Oh but I was telling Camille, I'm so impressed with this company because I think they have this crazy food engineering team behind all this. Me. Like all the cooking instructions are so specific and so like down to the, like there's some that's 400, then 425, then 450. Like they clearly tested everything out. It's good analysis. It's very just thought out. And I think that's kind of the difference. They are trying to produce good gluten-free food yeah. where some other companies are trying to produce gluten-free food because there's a demand. I think they care about it. There you go. So do or, they, or the other companies that are trying to produce it for health. This yes. Right, right, right. To just to, this is just good food. To, to, to check a box, like we right. now can serve these people. But if anything, if you probably look at your ROI, more people are buying this stuff than your stuff. Regardless, I think this was delicious. Um, I, are you yeah. feel inclined to put it more on the left side, mm -hmm. lower, just because it's not as stuffed as the other ones? What I do you agree. get for the kind of bang for your buck? I agree. I think I would put it at the end for now. But it's good. It tasted amazing. It really if did. there was like 50% more filling in there, I would have been, even 100% more filling, to yeah. be honest, I would have put it yeah. like up here somewhere in the top um, because it tastes like chewy pizza crust with amazing pepperoni pizza filling inside. And I would eat so many of them. Yeah, for sure. Um, I still would, but just for the terms of rating, I think that. No, this sense. was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've tried to work with so many different gluten-free doughs and the problem with gluten-free dough is that the gluten is the thing that is binding everything together, making right. it chewy, making it stretchy so you can form it over things. So what is the engineering behind this? Like, how are they, they're doing it in a different way than than thinking about it like, okay, yeah. I need to roll out a dough and make a pizza. Right. right you right. know, so it's fascinating. So this chicken is egg rolls. just chicken egg rolls. Yeah, chicken and veggies with a crunchy egg roll wrapper. We baked them. Okay. Um, I've had these before. I really like them. Oh, okay. I was so, gonna say it. Smell it. Just my... Mm. It smells so good, like ginger and veggies. Okay. Mm. It's a little different. I don't know if I love these, but... I mean, I mean, it's a solid egg roll. Yeah. Um, very flavorful and filled. Mm-hmm. Lots of filling. Love that. Uh, I think that it could be crispier. I was gonna say it's pretty. I, I feel like that's maybe a, it sitting out a little bit, mm -hmm. but I think it's kind of crispy. It I is mean, crispy. Did you? How'd you cook this one? You said just in the oven. Yeah, Camille so you didn't baked flip it. it at all? I don't know. Did you flip it while it was baking? Just in the oven, just like it suggests as the first um, yeah. 
the first instruction. However, I've made them before and I found that if you're baking them and then you finish them in a pan, pan frying Ooh, them, I like that. you get a little more like fried crispiness and it mimics like a crunchy egg that roll a good. little more. Um, I They're also huge. We ate little pieces, but they're like this big. Um, but how big was? We ate what? like a little third. We had a third. Oh, we had of a third of one. Yeah, there's so, three in the whole box. Oh, so that's they're, it. Yeah, they, they For come the with same three. Price? This is probably realistic. The size. So let me see. Probably pretty realistic on the size of what it was. Okay. Um, I would say it's good. they're tasty. They smell really great. The flavor is really great. I wish that they were a little crispier just by baking them. But. Uh, what do you think? I mean, I can't really say much else to be end. honest. What? Do you think they should be at the end? Oh, where to go and stack? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just because I. I mean, that's. A, I think it's more of a personal choice for me. Yeah. Though. Like the uh, flavors of the food itself, right? Of the filling itself. Mm -hmm. Other than that, though, good size. It's stuffed with filling, and then would be the, the only difference. I guess could be a little bit crispier. Yeah. But maybe throw it on the pan for a few seconds, a minute tops. Yeah. Other than that, I, I mean, I think it's delicious. But for me, flavor-wise, I would have to put it at the end. But I would still, on a, like a one to uh, zero to ten scale, I would still put it at like a six seven. Yeah. I I I hear what you're saying for sure. I think our like favorite flavors are a little bit different. Um, sure. And I really like Asian flavors. So if you are missing egg rolls and you like get you you know you want that flavor again right perfect for sure great good great size love it so much uh but i think i agree i think i would put it at the end because the other things are more my favorites i think we can we can also do a little bit like of like these you know yeah like for, i agree stuff for stuff this Ooh, one is like a blanch, a blanch, an, a blanch, a blanch. an egg egg Wins. and cheese and bacon pocket this is one of their new products i believe Newish. Uncured bacon, egg, and cheese pockets. Yeah, like a breakfast pocket. This is a third of it, so it's a nice size for a breakfast. Um, okay. Looks good. Looks Pretty flaky, flaky. Right? The edges look really I was crispy. Say, this says egg, sharp cheddar, and uncured bacon wrapped in a flaky, crispy crust. <laughs> Buttery, crispy, flaky Buttery, crust. Buttery, flaky, crispy crust. Wow, yeah. so good. He got it. Awesome. Okay. I'm excited. This is pretty thick too. Mm hmm. But you guys got a, a nice char on the inside. Mmm. Okay. It needs hot sauce. You no, know what throws me off is not the gluten free part. It's the gluten free part is the best amazing. part of it. Amazing. The amazing. Crust, it's buttery. Best. Oh my god. Buttery, flaky, crispy for sure. Mm -hmm. A little thick, but a good thick. Because it's like, something like chewy this. and then crispy. The flavor of behind, the crust. Behind the scenes, Jess said it's almost crescent roll croissant. -y. It is it's kind of crescent croissant roll, too. yeah. That's why I, I taste butter. But I'm gonna try it with a little hot sauce because, to be honest, the filling is not my favorite. Oh, what hot sauce is that? This is Cholula oh, hot sauce. Oh, it's just Cholula. That's an, mm. that's an advertisement right there. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I think the hot sauce amps it up because hot sauce amps everything up. But if I were eating this for breakfast, I would definitely put hot sauce on it, no matter what, how good the flavor of the inside is. Well, but the eggs are kind of weird. I was to say, to me, it tastes a little salty. There's some type of, I, I like salt, but help me out here. Um, it's not just salt. It's a little it salty, something. but there's a little bit of like, the, like the textural thing is texture what's throwing too. me off. The Very, egg is a little like bit grainy. Yeah. It's kind of like little tiny bits of egg. It doesn't taste like it was scrambled. It definitely tastes like it's a frozen product in the terms of texture of the egg. Sure. That being said, the crust is so Amazing. freaking good. Amazing. They should make sure. a this size pizza bite. I was just gonna say the same And thing. they would rule the market. I mean, a Hot Pocket. Basically. Hot Pocket, 100% yeah. a Hot Pocket. I mean, it even comes with a hot pocket sleeve. Does it really? When you heated this up? Wait, you made this in the microwave? No. One minute in the microwave, 12 minutes in the oven is what it recommended. Wow, there that's is, what that, recommended. That's that's that, the one that I was like, there is a team behind this. But that's, like, that is crazy. That's the thing though, like with a hot pocket, okay, first of all, I can eat gluten, so it's different. 
but a hot pocket I stick into the microwave. But how much better? I guess would it be okay. I could be wrong. So you could do way better, the you hot could pocket. you could do this in the microwave just like the hot pocket if you wanted two minutes and fifteen seconds and there you go. So that's the comparable. Mm -hmm. um, but I would cook it exactly the way you cooked it. It was Holy so crap. good. Yeah, that's a little long though. Bake for twelve to sixteen minutes. Yeah, the preparation. The preparation Not right. was definitely a little. Um, time consuming like if you were rushing out the door for breakfast yeah, that's the only thing. it wouldn't be your quick breakfast because the texture potent like the potential of the product texture is there right. if you want to take the time to bake it but if you fully microwave that i don't know how much like how good it would be it's there's three cooking suggestions and that's the last one so oh. it would happen like it would work it'd be hot through but I don't think that the taste of the filling was so good that it would be worth it to microwave and have a quick breakfast. No, I don't know if that's and worth so, it. And so, but if that sh was pizza, yeah. yeah, holy crap. Yeah, no, that was delicious. Like, would be amazing. Yeah. So, at the end. I think we can agree that it's at the end. I no? actually don't agree. You don't agree? <gasps> I would put it right here, but that's just me. You want to so. put it there? Okay. No, let's see. Why, why is it? It's not my show. I mean, it's okay. You have a voting. You have. Yeah, you have but a it's vote. like this small compared to your vote. Yeah. Whatever. Do you see where Naomi's coming from? Like yeah. She would grab but I think, the, I think the outside, I would still probably have this for breakfast. I think it's interesting they note that they're cage free eggs and pork raised without antibiotics. They're trying to do good things here. I fully support that when it comes to eating animal product. Um, you could take this one. It looks different than the picture, which is a little disappointing. The inside doesn't have like chunks of stuff in it. Um, what if we did this? But the, I honestly, okay, so let's do it this way. The outside texture was so freaking delicious. But I would put it like, if it was just outside texture, I'd put it probably like up <laughs> At here. the top. Yeah, Chewy, real. crispy, flaky, amazing. Didn't taste gluten-free at all. No. So we can put it between here because or, the outside texture of the chicken egg rolls was not. I mean, we can both agree that this brand is freaking oh killing my God. it. Uh, so. I put all these above the average mark, 100%. Yeah. No doubt about it. Definitely. Ready? Yay. Mozzarella sticks. Ooh. I feel like this is going to be- Woohoo! You warmed them yeah. up again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Do you I can't even this? tell you. Oh, we don't have a dip. Okay. It didn't come with a dip. Normally you'd eat it with Wait, the so Marta, that one came with a dip? The pot sticker was the only one we have that came with a dip. Interesting. So I'm relying on the flavor of the crispy. Just mozzarella sticks. Just as easy as that. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yours cheesed. Mine did not. Uh, I mean, that's pretty hollow, but that's a good amount of cheese. God dang. Mm. Cool and free. Tastes like a mozzarella stick. Like it has that kind of seasoning you'd expect. Yeah. Yeah. But once again, not much filled. Not very filled. Where's my mozzarella? Yeah, it definitely tastes more of the like breading, mm -hmm. right? But <laughs> the breading is delicious. I, I think it's very out. tasty. I think if it had some like a little thing mm -hmm. of warm mozzarella, we could dip it in. Mm -hmm. uh, all right now. Yeah, warm marinara. <laughs> Mozzarella. I mean, I wouldn't mind. Mm. A little bit more cheese. More cheese? Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. mind more cheese. Oh my god, these are too good. I like that one. It felt the like greasiest out of all of them, in my opinion. It felt a little bit heavy, cheesy, greasy, fried. Definitely. But it's a freaking mozzarella stick. Right, like, what right, can you right. expect? I just wish it. I wish I got a cheese pull and there was like full of cheese yeah. inside the yummy shell because the shell was bomb. Like, tastes exactly how I would want a mozzarella stick to taste. Hundred percent. Um, these could go on Trader Joe's frozen aisle. All of them could, yeah. and people would buy them. Hundred percent. So fast, like. Hey, you know what? I'm so I mean, I would personally put these like somewhere around here too. But honestly, like I said, these are all six plus. Like, yeah, definitely above Seriously. average. Probably some of the best frozen gluten-free snacks I've ever had. Yeah, even just good frozen snacks. They don't feel oh, like no. they're For made sure. of, like there's no chemical flavor in them. They taste like quality frozen, like snacks that are as healthy for you as they can be by being what they are. Right. They're not supposed to be, you know, some sort of healthy right, gluten-free right. thing, which I love. Yeah. Please, Feel Good Foods, if you watch this, please make 
a large version of your pepperoni bite in the outside of that egg pocket. Question. Freaking four, oh, so good. Jess, what would you say your favorite thing was? Really? Right? Yeah. How what many would more? You say Austin. Honestly, I would agree with the order they have them in now. Really? Yeah. Almost, wow. Almost exactly. Yeah. Oh. I think I, really I personally really like, like the uh, the empanadas and the pierogies. Well, if you compare them, if you compare like the empanadas and the pierogies. Yeah. Okay. I, I would say these two were the only ones really lacking filling. This yes. had amazing filling. Oh, that one filling. The, outside, really the eggs were. I mean, it was pretty the egg much was full, full of eggs. Full. What there was, was this no one? Gap. Uh, that pierogi, was that pierogi. was good. It was just small. Good so. filling. Yeah, small. That was my And favorite. the outer layer was pretty thick for how small it was, right? What Ooh. was this? Empanadas? Empanadas. That I was actually full. thought that was a little low on my side. I, low filling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, Your dad also. My dad stuffs them. Okay. His dad makes them from scratch. Like, this is frozen food. So different. the only ones that we have left are the four top. Um, in terms of... Okay. Cups. Of top three, too. I'm going for a pot sticker right okay. away. This is, I mean, I'm just maybe biased. Is these I both empanadas? So I'm gonna have this one this time because I think it's a little thicker. I'm gonna try the empanada. No, yeah. that would more filling. I had an end piece. Empanadas are good. The empanadas definitely give you a cure for a Mexican flavored carby fix. It has those seasonings. The carb is so crunchy and yummy. Mm. The pierogies are good. Mm -hmm. The potato inside tastes like potato I've made. It's so full too. Mm -hmm. Filling. Wow, that was delicious. That might slide up for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, and my last one, the pizza. Pizza bite. So excited. Just a little airy. It looks like it's gonna be so full. Look at how like fat and full it is. And then. No, I just taste the cauliflower crust, which is delicious, but it's yours too. I wanna to say the pierogi is number one. Okay, wow. That I'm last really bite I had was so good. Yeah. It was so filling. I love potatoes, I'm a huge mash. That tastes like mashed potatoes and bacon. <laughs> it tastes like mashed potatoes I, inside bread. I'm a big mash. Like, <laughs> Madonna loves. I would have to, but honestly that, Second bite of the empanadas was way better than the first More one. More good than the second. And might overpass the um, pot sticker. Pot stickers. Mm. They're so close. I don't know. This is just really tough. I would have to put leave this one fourth because of the filling. It just didn't have. The filling. I mean, you'd get more of the crust. It's out of disappointing, it. honestly, yeah. because it's right. so delicious. It would be in my top two if yeah. it was more full. I think so too. Yeah. Especially with the cauliflower crust that I've tried. Right? The chewiness of that? Oh God. Oh my God. So good. It doesn't taste like cauliflower, which is not at all. Amazing. I would also slide this up and like slide all these up. So I'm which one's up? Terrible. This is the egg. I actually. Yeah. I thought, you're right, the Cholula was the perfect Right, it uh, needed pairing, it. Pairing, yeah. 100%. It needed it, which is kind of like why I feel like it should be lower because it needed help. So, but- um, This needed help, just. The pot sticker, yes. I, yeah, I mean, eggs go with hot sauce as much as pot stickers go with dipping sauce. So, you know, fair enough. So let's, go, let's go, let's uh, go pierogi. Let's do the pot stickers, then the empanada. Okay. Okay. I think my top, I just love the pot stickers. I love them so much. I've eaten them for years. I, I love them very much. I would put those at the top for me. And then I would put the pierogi. I really liked that one. Um, empanada was really great. I really liked it. But my like flavor profile is so different than you. I, I honestly think the pizza roll is up there for me. It is. Because it's a freaking pizza roll. Mm -hmm. Like it's crunchy and chewy and tastes like pizza and I love it and I would eat 10 of them and I, even though I wish it was more full, I would still eat it like it's in my top three. And, and so I think, I think that's where I'm, I think that's where I'm at. I if I this. was making a meal out of this, I could eat a whole box of pot stickers and a little bit of salad and I would be, very happy. It's, it's it 
Yeah. It is. It's apps yeah. for sure. It it's is. Like, I don't but trust serving sizes. The the chicken egg rolls. If you ate three of those fatty egg rolls, like you'd be full. So. And each um, one of them is a serving. Tom, which one would you buy as a dinner? As a dinner? Like, at like, least oh, two or three of them. Oh, do you think you need them? Yeah. I yeah. want the, a side salad. I'd crush like these two. Said. No, that and a side salad. <laughs> I would need two and a side salad at least. Austin, <laughs> if you know Austin. Austin's gonna eat all seven. Austin will have these plus a side salad <laughs> or two side salads. <laughs> no, but I would have some of this. I'd pair it up with it. I would honestly have all of these. I love this so much. I really I've hope that someone, heard, yeah. a rep from Feel Good Food, watches this because it makes me so happy that the company sure. is just so good and they're doing a really great job. Right. And like, we bought all this stuff at Whole Foods. Then we went to Vons and we bought two of them. So you can go on their website and see where they sell everything. Um, I looked up my zip code and found which location carries which products. It shows you pictures of them. It lists how many of the products that this location carries. Um, and so we did that. We went to Whole Foods and Vons and we got all seven of these. And I just, I, I'm thoroughly impressed. I, I love seeing a company do good and I, I think they just did such a great job. How many do they have? Like what else? They also have, which I really, really, really wanted to find, but I couldn't find for us, deep dish pizza. Oh, crap. Yeah. But that's oh, not, have, but that's not like this. Style. That's not like no. frozen. But after tasting this, bites. imagine how amazing the pizza's going I would be. I would love to we have try. To find well, it. we did a pizza test. We did. Did you do any of theirs? No. So oh, we did, the, the pizza is brand new. What just came out? The pizza. Oh, just They pizza. just launched it. They have three different flavors. They're deep deeper dish style with cheese and sauce over the cheese, I believe. I could not find the pizza anywhere. I really, really wanted you to try it. So we're gonna have to try that again later. But they have pizza, they have different flavors of different things. So the, the egg rolls, they have a couple of different types. Oh, the cool. pot stickers, they have veggie, pork, and chicken. Nice. They have different Empanadas. types of, they might have different types of empanadas. They have different types of pizza rolls. They have mac and cheese bites oh. that we were not able to find. Well, okay, we found so one good. type, but they were truffle mac and cheese, and I'm not really a big truffle person. And neither are you. Though. So no, I'm not. I was not really looking for those. I was looking for the three cheese mac and cheese bites. That's what I would have wanted to try. Uh, so we didn't find those today, but I'm they really excited to to try them in the future and, and look for them when I'm shopping. They were probably really good because we did find the tag for them. That's true, and they were, they were sold out. They were sold out. Mm, so, where at? Uh, Vons, yeah. Mm. So, um, I mean, I'm super excited for everything else the company yeah. produces in the future, everything else that I haven't tried, fully support, like, love it so much, good price for good quality product, and I'm just really happy with it. Yeah, no, this yeah. is awesome. I would compare these 100% to gluten snacks, and I would, easily buy these in comparison or buy them over to the gluten-free option. Thanks for doing this with me today. I was so excited to show you this brand and I am so excited that it was as successful as it was. I mean, we loved absolutely everything. So I hope that someone watches this from Feel Good because it will probably make you feel really good. <laughs> <laughs> and let's get out of here and eat some side salad. Oh God, I'm so hungry. <laughs> See you next week, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Yay. Oh my God. It was so good.